So the other day I was just riding along, as they say, when I heard the telltale ping of a busted spoke. I shot an email off to ICE and found out that as a replacement spoke on this 20 inch wheel on my VTX, I would need a 172 millimeter spoke. To do this job, you will also need a spoke wrench. Make sure you have the right size for your spoke nipples. I've had spokes break on my regular road bikes, but never had a spoke break on a trike wheel. And this 20 inch wheel will not fit in my truing stand. So I had to devise something else to true it. I'm going to try and use this antique surface gauge. More than likely your spoke broke at the bend near the hub. So just unscrew and throw away the old spoke. This is where things really get interesting. As you can see, that straight spoke wouldn't even clear the wall of the hub. I had to bend the dickens out of it just to get it to clear that hub and then to clear the other spokes that are already threaded to the hub. I emailed Andy at ICE again and he confirmed that bending the spoke would be the only way to get it in. After I did finally manage to get it threaded through there, I then had to gently straighten it out as best I could. What works to your advantage here is that once you have the spoke threaded into the spoke nipple and you tighten it, it will pull it taut such that it will actually help straighten out the spoke. And once I had everything tight, I couldn't even perceive that the spoke had ever been bent. Note that I did all this with my fingers because I didn't want to use a tool that could possibly score the spoke leading to a failure later on. Make sure that when you install the new spoke, the lacing pattern matches the pattern on the rest of the wheel. You can see that getting the spoke into the spoke nipple wasn't exactly the easiest thing to do, but I kept working at it and eventually got it in there. You can also see at this point that despite all the bending, the spoke looks pretty straight even now. I did finally get it in the spoke nipple and I gave the spoke nipple a few turns to tighten it in there before I went and got the wrench. I should mention here that it's a good idea to put a drop of lubricating oil on the threads of that spoke so it won't seize and it will be easier to adjust later on down the line. Here I made an effort to get that spoke as straight as I possibly could before tightening it with the spoke wrench. Now here's the beauty of a 20 inch wheel with 32 spokes. Even with a spoke completely missing, the wheel stayed in pretty good true. Here I marked the newly installed spoke with a piece of blue painter's tape because I knew that any truing adjustments I was going to have to make to the wheel were going to have to be made with that spoke. I propped the cruciform of the trike up on an old cardboard box so I could get the wheel to spin freely and when I placed the surface gauge against the rim it worked like a charm. A few twists of the spoke wrench and everything was in perfect true and ready to go.